Hello everyone and I hope everybody is doing perfectly fine. So today I'll be discussing in short the International Academy of Cytology Yokohama system for reporting breast FNAC. How this system developed? This Yokohama system, this was basically developed by the International Academy of Cytology for reporting the FNAC of breast lesion, the fine needle aspiration, cytology and biopsy of breast lesions. This was initially done in a meeting at Yokohama International Congress of Cytology in 2016. And these, this was done uh, where a panel of cytopathologists, radiologists, surgeons and oncologists were there in a meeting and the complete management of the breast lesions was uh, dis discussed over the meeting. So as you all know, the breast FNA is a rapid, accurate and highly cost-effective diagnostic procedure and there is a very much minimal complication rate for the broad spectrum of benign and malignant lesion. And we know this, uh, this FNAC of breast, it has high sensitivity in the range of 90 to 95% and a high positive predictive value approaching even 100% in diagnosis of carcinoma breast. So what was the basic idea to develop this system? Why there was a need when we are reporting, we were reporting uh, lesions on breast FNA. So basically what this system has done, it has standardized and improved the reporting of our breast cytology. It has established best practice guidelines and there has been improvement in training, in the performance and interpretation of breast cytology. You can say it the, there is a uniformity in reporting now and the communication with the clinician. So now it is very much clear. So there is a clarification in communication between the cytopathologist and the breast clinician. And this was also helping in to report the system, uh, reporting this system with patient management so as to facilitate the optimal breast care. So this Yokohama system, it has divided the breast cytology into five categories as per the risk of malignancy. So that is important. See, whenever we study any disease, so what is our aim? It is to see whether there, what is the prognosis of the disease. So if we define karte hai five categories of breast lesion, ko, so, we have to see the risk of malignancy. Ke chances kya hai. What should be the management according to that risk? So, this five category broadly are your insufficient, inadequate. Second is your benign category. Third is your atypical. Fourth is suspicious for malignancy. Fifth is your frank malignant category. So, now just brief. These basic system, it has been very much clearly given. This, this was this presentation I have taken from uh, the basic was there was a review of literature in uh, journal Acta Cytologica. So there they have uh, published in detail about each category, what all uh, definitions are there for each category, what are the risk factors, how the patients are managed according to the cytology reports. So there is a uniform guideline which is helpful, uh, which is helping all the cytopathologists and the clinician over the countries to have a proper management to our, give a proper management to our patient. So, abhi humne dekha, uh, five categories. So now, just in brief, what each category means. So why we should label it as insufficient or inadequate? Because see, the smears are too sparsely cellular. Cellularity utni achhi nahi aai hai fene ke baad. Aur jo smear hai, they are too poorly smeared. Smearing is not good. Fixity is not good. So that we are not able to see the cytomorphological details clearly. So a proper diagnosis cannot be given. So in all these cases, we label it as insufficient or inadequate. Second category is your benign. So benign is a Here what will happen is there is unequivocally, usually benign cytological features wale cases honge, but hum se may or may not be diagnostic of a specific benign lesion. So we can give it a broad category that there is no feature of malignancy or atypical or suspicious. It is frankly benign. So in that case, we can give it as benign. Then third category is your atypical. So atypical is defined as 
basically here what we have presence of cytological features predominantly it will be in continuation with your benign process but some features will be there which are not seen in your benign lesion but could be seen in your malignant lesion so in that case we term it as atypical fourth category is your suspicious it is moving towards malignancy so here what happen there are presence of some cytomorphological features jo ki hame milte hain malignant lesion mein but with insufficient malignant features the features are not we are not so confident over the features of malignancy in this suspicious category that we cannot label it as frankly malignant so we keep it in a suspicious category to make a definitive diagnosis of malignancy so this type of malignancy should be suspected when there are features suspicious suspicious features are there aur jo type of malignancy agar hame jo bhi samajh mein aa raha hai suppose we are in a doubt ki that there can be uh, adenocarcinoma or some idc ductal carcinoma lobular carcinoma so that we should label the type of we should try to label the type of malignancy then last category is your malignant here there is an equivocal there is no doubt the material is malignant and here also we need to typify the type of malignancy squamous adeno ductal lobular anything that we have to label it so now when these five categories are described like these are insufficient benign atypical suspicious and malignant so ye panch categories hamare ic yokohama system mein hai so ab why these are important initially i told you ki classification ek strategy proper systematic categorization has been done keeping in mind the risk of malignancy involved in each category and how these categories are to be managed so the first category is insufficient here we are not sure whether it is benign malignant kyunki hamare paas cellularity utni nahi hai theek hai so we can give it as risk of malignancy here it is more as compared to your benign 2.6 to 4.8% chances are there if there could be malignancy in the patient so what is the management so in addition to the cytology first aim should be we have to review the clinical and imaging findings if ultrasound image any imaging finding be it usg or mammography it is indeterminate it is not able to give you a definitive opinion or it is suspicious better repeat the fna or proceed to cnp that is core needle biopsy or if imaging is suggestive of benign then you can just repeat your fnac you need not go for biopsy and what is the they these guidelines what they have done they have made a column regarding management in low and middle income countries also so waha pe jahan itni facilities nahi hai ki we can go for biopsy or repeat usg so what we'll do in insufficient category we'll review the clinical finding if imaging is not available and if suspicious other are a clinical finding then we will repeat the fnac even if we don't have usg finding comment at the end what we can give is at rose rose is what rapid on site evaluation agar humne fnac ki what we do is we make the slide immediately and then see the cellularity or we try to give a presumptive diagnosis as early as possible so at rose if inadequate agar kuch technical issue hai ya material nahi aaya hai fna karne pe then explain the uh, does not or jo material aaya hai that is not explaining ki clinical or imaging finding suppose clinical finding or imaging finding is in favor of malignancy but at rose it is inadequate so what we'll do is we'll repeat fna at least up to 3 times ideally you is using the usg guided under usg guidance or fna if still is insufficient you are not able to get the material we'll go for coronal biopsy because we have to give importance to the clinical and imaging finding if they are saying it is suspicious we have to be confident enough before giving our report then we move on to second category that is benign here the risk of malignancy is 1.4 to 2.3% here what you do is as in the insufficient category first we we'll review the clinical and imaging findings agar triple test benign aa raha hai the clinical imaging and your illogical uh, sorry cytological finding agar wo teeno negative benign aa rahe then no further biopsy is required and then what we'll do is see the lesion review the lesion 
इफ क्लिनिकल और इमेजिंग इनडिटर्मिनेट या सस्पिशियस आ रहे हैं और हमारा बिना इन जा रहा है अगेन वी हैव टू रिपीट आर एफ एन ए सी और वी हैव टू प्रोसीड टू को निडल बायोपसी in middle and low in this low and middle income countries what we can do is we can review just the clinical detail as we don't have imaging if benign nothing further if suspicious we'll repeat our fnac <laughs> sorry at rose here in benign category what we do is if the cellular material does not explain the clinical or imaging finding again we have to so see it should be in conjunction with your psychological clinical and radiological finding agar nahi match kar rahi hai so what we'll do is we'll repeat our fna up to 3 times maybe under usg guidance and then we'll follow the lesion like abscess agar hai we are giving a benign so two weeks after antibiotics we'll do it go for screening repeat ultrasound before labeling it as benign if there is a discrepancy in clinical and radiological findings with cytological findings then third category is your atypical atypical mein chances badh jate hain malignancy ke if you are getting atypical cells on cytology there is 13 to 15.7% chances of risk of malignancy so here what we do we'll review the clinical and imaging findings of the patient we'll repeat fna if atp are considered likely to be due to technical issue हमारे एफ एन ए की टेक्निक में गड़बड़ाई थी स्मियरिंग में गड़बड़ाई है स्टेनिंग में गड़बड़ाई है और इफ इट इज नॉट मैचिंग टू आर क्लिनिकल इमेजिंग फाइंडिंग विल रिपीट आर एफ एन ए इफ गुड मटेरियल अवेलेबल एंड ए टिपिकल है सो विल रिपीट एफ एन ए और विल गो फॉर पोर नीडल बायोपसी लाइक इफ यू कैन जस्टिफाई दैट द केस इज साइकोलॉजिकल फाइंडिंग ए टिपिकल सो विल रिपीट वंस एफ एन ए एंड गो फॉर बायोपसी but in low and middle income country what we'll do is we'll just review the clinical detail repeat fna and manage accordingly then if further good option nahi aa raha biopsy ka then we'll go for excisional biopsy then comment is what we have to give at the end is at rose if atp is considered due to a technical issue so this is the bottom line which we give after the management part so we have repeated our fna If cellular material is adequate and it is saying yes, it is atypical. So before any surgery, we need to go for biopsy. Suspicious category: there are 85 to 97 percent chance of having malignancy. So here, poor needle biopsy is mandatory. Even after when we review our clinical imaging history findings, then go for poor needle biopsy. If corneal biopsy is not available in low and middle income country, what we do is go for excision biopsy. And at rose, like if rose is while doing FNA, what we used to do is while doing FNA, we used to do MGG, May, Grewal, Jimsa stain. So, ham FNA करने के बाद, we used to see the cellularity so that we don't have to call the patient again. What we used to do is do repeat the FNA in the same setting. Once you have done FNA, make smear. Ask the patient to wait for a while outside. Then you see, keep a microscope near to your place. Then stain it. Then see immediately if you are getting because nuclei will be stained. So what we do is we see whether cells are there or not. The smear. So if adequate cellularity is there, then you can give a. You can ask the patient to leave because uh, that reporting will be okay. Because if inadequate is, then again you have to, if the patient goes again you have to call the patient. So that will increase the time for your diagnosis. So better. So doing rose is very effective. So rapid onset evaluation, and at rose we need to proceed to coronal biopsy. The last category is on malignant, where the chance of malignancy is almost 100 percent, 99 to 100 percent. Here we have to review always correlation with clinical and imaging finding has to be done. If biopsy, uh, coronal biopsy, if any discrepant findings, if triple test concordant has. malignant hai teenon ki finding clinical radiological and your psychological then we have to proceed to a definitive management and here biopsy se hamesha confirm karni hoti hai psychological findings before any surgery and in low and middle income country if there is no biopsy straight forward you can go for excisional biopsy at rose also you may proceed to biopsy तो सी दिस स्टैंडर्डाइज सिस्टम अगर आपने पांच कैट ब्रॉड कैटेगरी में डिवाइड कर दिया ना अपने ब्रेस्ट साइटोलॉजी रिपोर्टिंग को सो व्हाट हैपेंस देयर इज नो वेरिएशन इनिशियली व्हाट यूज्ड टू बी देयर देयर इज अ वेरिएशंस इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे भी विद इन कंट्रीज इन एप्लीकेशन कि कहां एफएनए यूज करना है कहां कोनल बायोपसी करनी है 
where straightforward patient can go for biopsy, where FNA is more important. So these discrepancies can be sorted out with this systematic approach. And what this standardized system will do, it will invoke a response from the cytology community, community and also from all those who provide a component in the triple diagnostic approach like your combined clinician and radiologist which is the all three people they will give best practice for the women with breast lesion so there is a uniformity in reporting which will help in better communication with the clinician and cytopathologist in proper management of the patient so thank you so much for your patient hearing and kindly like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel Patho with MK. Thank you so much.